Hello and welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. We sell all the coolest Japanese collectibles straight out of Japan. Please check the description of this video for more details, including our Facebook page and our eBay store. So this video is going to be a review of the figure that you see in front of you, which is the high quality deluxe or HQDX figure of Super Saiyan Broly. And Broly is actually a very, very popular figure in Japan, well, I guess right across the world. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the movie characters, not so much because I have anything against them. There's been some really cool characters like Cooler and, of course, Broly, uh, some of the androids, early androids and turtles. Um, but I guess just more because, you know, we don't see a whole lot of them. But, of course, Broly did have a couple of movies. And he is very popular. Uh, why? I don't know. I'd love to hear your comments. I guess because he just looks really cool. I mean, he's a Saiyan and he's got crazy hair and big muscles and weird jewels and things on his legs and waist. So, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I guess he sort of epitomizes the, uh, the stereotypical image of Dragon Ball and perhaps even Japanese anime. Now, there are three off-the-top-of-my-head figures that I can think of of Broly that have been released in Japan. The first one, uh, we're not necessarily going in order, but of course the one you see in front of you. Uh, the other one is uh, Broly in the Muscle Mania series, which is a fairly short series that had the muscly figures of Dragon Ball, including uh, had Nappa uh, without his armor and also um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. It's a pretty short series, but you know the figures there are pretty good. And there's also an Ichiban Kuji, which is basically, it looks like this figure, but just a lot bigger, like probably two and a half times the size. And the base is actually like a proper rocky base. It is a really awesome figure. The quality and, and that is also a lot better. That's probably one of the rarest and therefore most expensive figures that we actually sell. So, um, yeah, but anyway, this is a pretty good alternative if you uh, like Broly, I have actually reviewed the Ichiban Kuji in a separate video, so I'll put the link um, to that in the video. And actually, we sold that one a few days ago, so uh, unfortunately, I couldn't have. Timing was bad, otherwise, I could have showed you them both together. So, since we've got the box, let me just show you the box quickly. Unfortunately, this one's a little bit damaged, but it's not too bad. Um, so, yeah, the HQDX was basically Ben Presto's uh, baseline that they released in the mid 2000s. And uh, this one's actually a pretty big box. It's quite thicker than the other ones. And they actually called this part of the movie series. So you can see there's Bardock, which I've also reviewed in a separate video. I'll put the link to that. And Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I don't know why he's in the uh, movie one. And then there's the side. And the top is not that interesting. You got the cold gold toy animation sticker. And the bottom actually does look kind of cool. That's what the bottom looks like. So you know these figures are from the HQDX line from the black circular base that they have. And those pins do go in properly, but I'm scared to break them because as I've said in the other video where I sort of review the series in general. Um, you know, these figures are quite known for their pins to break, um, because, yeah, they just, most of the figures in this series just doesn't quite fit in snugly, and, you know, they're, they're pretty brittle things, so, uh, you'll notice perhaps that the newer figures actually in Japan have the pins attached to the base, and then the hole in the foot, whereas these ones actually have the pin in the foot and the hole in the base, if that makes sense. Uh, so do be very careful when you put these ones in. It's not a big deal if one of them breaks, but if both of them breaks, then you've kind of got to glue it to the stand, which you probably don't want to do. Um, so yeah, so the base pretty standard. So if I look at the the uh, the figure, um, I'll show you. I'm just give you this bit of a spin. So look, it's a it's a nice figure, you know. I mean, it's um, it's got pretty much all the detail that you could want. I like the stance. I mean, it's pretty much the only stance, I guess, you could put Broly in. And um, you know, you look at the detail in his muscles. You got the veins coming through. It's quite a nice gold finish as well on his legs and thing is he's actually quite glossy. 
and you can see the different sort of toning there in the colors it's really nice got all those muscles in there it's pretty impressive like that in his hand all those veins So, now I don't know whether this is just this particular figure, but the hair just seems a little bit funny here. Just the paint job just looks a bit rough. Anyone else has got this figure? I'd be interested to know whether theirs does the same. I guess it looks a little bit silly, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. So, uh, as with most Ben Presto figures, this figure doesn't have any articulation, so it doesn't move. Uh, it assembles, what you see here is three pieces. One is the base, of course, and then he connects in the, in the waist. And, um, yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's a great figure. I mean, it's, a, it's probably the best and cost, most cost-effective way to get a figure of Brawley. Um, even this figure itself is relatively expensive and, and collectible. Um, and you know plenty of detail really looks cool and you know there's not much to really not like about this figure um, I did notice on the box you know his, his chest looks very sort of plasticky and glossy but I'm happy to see that the actual figure itself doesn't appear that way so maybe just the lighting that they took the you know marketing artwork is a bit different um, one thing I'd sort of don't, it's just a little thing, but don't really like about this figure is that his necklace is actually on an angle, and I don't think that's unique to this figure. I think that's actually how they made it. So I don't know. He's powering up. You know, you can imagine there's like air going everywhere and stuff. Um, so maybe they don't want it sitting too perfectly. But yeah, I think they could have. I still think it would have been better if they aligned that up straight. But uh, anyway, they didn't. So. And yeah, the pins, it's like a bit of a complaint for all of the figures in this series. You just got to be very careful, uh, be careful with them. But uh, yeah, and as I said, just the, the job here and the hair looks a little bit rough, but that just might be for this figure, I'm not sure. But overall, it, it's it's a really, you know, it's a really nice, it's a very Japanese figure, isn't it? Just great quality and, and very nice finish. Um, so yeah, so that is the HQ DX Super Saiyan Broly Bam Presto figure. And if I give you a comparison for size, you can see that's an iPhone 5 case, so it's, you know, it's relatively big. It's relatively big. It's probably about 17 or 18 centimeters. The box is 20 centimeters high, so you can see the comparison there. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.